We're live from the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. One guy you'll see in action later tonight during that window is Liberty's Malik Willis. He's Todd McShay's number one quarterback prospect for this year's draft. And Willis told reporters on Wednesday he plans to partake in the throwing drills. He's not going to run or participate in any other drills, but we will see him throw tonight. Willis is a dynamic talent, finishing last season as one of two FBS quarterbacks with 25 passing touchdowns and 10 rushing touchdowns on the ground. The Liberty standout put up 878 yards which was second most among FBS quarterbacks through the air he logged 31 completions on passes 20 yards or more downfield that's tied for seventh most in the FBS we got Todd McShay right here so why do you Todd have Willis as your top quarterback off the board I'm betting on his ceiling yeah. And, I'm, yeah. and I'm betting on the what? dude. I'm betting on yep. the guy. You know, uh, talking to Hugh Freeze, he put it perfectly. He said he's the most humble yet confident player I've ever coached. And you think about all the guys he's coached throughout his career, including Ole Miss. But to me, when I watch him on tape, get with an organization. Have an organization draft you that has a good defense and a strong run game. Because right away, he's not going to be an overly efficient pocket passer. Yeah. He's got work to do in that area, both from understanding concepts defensively, what they're, the looks they're throwing at him, and from a, just a mechanical standpoint. But what he does is he gives you an extra extra numbers advantage in the run game. And about, you said, what, 31 throws over, yeah. over 20, 20 yards? Over yeah. 20 yards? I bet you 25 of those based on tape study were when he was on the run. Right. Body, you know, yeah. twisted and turned, and some of the throws he makes are remarkable. So the skill is all there. It's just finding the right fit and being developed properly. But the good news is when he makes those rookie mistakes, and trust me, he's going to make more than your average rookie quarterback if he's starting. But if he makes those mistakes, he can get himself out of a lot of trouble yeah. with those two feet. I think he is the most interesting player in the draft. And when I watch him, I still have questions. Like, I don't know if he can cut down on the sack rate and the turnovers or run a pro-style offense, frankly. But, but I do know this. Watching his tape, there are more moments where I say words I can't say on cable television <laughs> than any other quarterback, maybe uh, even player in this class. I mean, his traits are unreal. The rushing ability, I just said to you guys where we started, like I, instantly I would put him in the top three in the NFL with his running style. The arm talents, the off-platform yeah. throws, the deep ball. There are going to be teams that look at him and have visions, maybe wrong visions, of Josh Allen and Justin Herbert. Todd, you talked about his ceiling. I think his ceiling is outer space and wow. someone is going to want to board that rocket ship, even if it goes horribly wrong. No, absolutely. I'm on and it. Listen, when, when the countdown starts, a lot of people are going to be signing up for this, but they also have to understand it could be a wild ride right. with Malik Willis. <laughs> what yeah. I know he's going to have to do, he's going to have to show a level of competitiveness. This summer, Mina and I got to see him throw, yeah, actually, yeah. and they were kind of having a throwing competition. He didn't do well the first time. Sam Howell comes out and throws well. Malik asked to go again. Wow. One, because he knows he can be better than that, but also he wanted to be better than Sam Howell. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be better than the people he was competing against, and that's important. This is a guy that had to transfer from Auburn, had to go to Liberty and build himself back up to get to this position. He has to have that same mindset and learning pro-style offenses and learning how to cut down the sack rate and making better decisions because as far as elite talented traits he has more in this draft than anybody else he has a baseline to be successful now how hard will he work to get the other things let's give you a little more context with some numbers on exactly the questions that we're all asking here and Lewis let, let's check these out so Willis had outstanding numbers last season with a clean pocket producing a 91 QBR when he wasn't pressured along with a 66 percent completion rate comparatively though when he had a QBR of three points when he was pressured that's an 88 point drop off that is real. Like one, that it? QBR is three. What when about he's all pressured? the times he was pressured and then took off and ran for four? <laughs> yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. bad offensive line. Just want to throw that yeah. out. True. No. So context Plus. fits in here, but yeah. Lewis, can he overcome that narrative that obviously even the numbers prove here uh, that he can't do anything when he's pressured? Yeah. It, well, I don't think you can do it here because you're not playing any game. Yeah. Right. right? You're, you're going to be thrown out here against there, you know, with your shorts on and don't have a helmet on. There aren't. Well, there's fans in the stands now, but you're, you're not going to be under that pressure. Get out there. So it, it's totally different. <laughs> See, this, this is, here's, the, here's the danger of the combine. Here's the danger of as every day ticks off uh, and you get further and further away from the season. All kinds of things that really don't have anything to do with how you play the game 11 on 11 get thrown into the pot in terms of how right. people start evaluating things. And people start engaging in confirmation bias. They start looking for things that justify how they already feel about somebody. And look, we've all said it. Elite traits, right? Great arm, great-looking body, can run like the wind. So everyone's going to go, 
Well, forget the forget the blitz rate. Forget how he takes sacks. I don't care about that. <laughs> right. Just tell me about his arm strength, please. Right. Tell me about his ball velocity, please. That's all I want to hear because I want to take him high. Right. You got to be careful. Yeah. What will determine this young man's success or failure is where he goes, yeah. even more so than what he does, because people are going to have to make sure they tap into him and stay tapped in to draw it out of him. You know, those numbers we just showed on the screen, like the TVs here in Indy, they're all on ESPN and NFL Network, all these shows. And so they're probably watching it. If you're, if you're a team that's interested, like you may be watching right now and you're like, ah, change the channels. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right, because if an owner's watching, he's going, hey, what did you say about the guy? I didn't say anything. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Three QBR. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.